How you doing everybody? This is Mike from Lumen Lights and we're showing here one of our new moving head fixtures. This is the hybrid beam. Uh, we call it a hybrid. Hybrid by definition is a crossing of various things like a hybrid flower or a hybrid animal. Well here we have a hybrid moving head which consists of a central lens. Behind that lens we have a 60 watt white LED light source that's focused to about a six degree beam angle. So it's a nice tight beam, as the name implies. Uh, it also has go a gobel wheel inside, so it is a gobel spot moving head. And as you can see, around the central beam, there are 36 tri-LED, 3-watt tri-LED bulbs, which serve as a wash. So this light is a narrow beam, it's a gobel spot, and it's also a color wash and the LED bulbs around the ring are sectioned in four sections. So you can independently change the color of each section and we'll show you some demos in just a few minutes. The menu is very easy to navigate and we'll zoom in on that right now and show you some of the features. The LCD display is a high quality blue lit backlit LCD display. You have your menu, enter, up and down buttons, your four buttons like on most lights. Hitting your menu button several times to get you through address. 30 channel, you can set the number of channels, either 30 channels or 12 channels. Set your DMX address, hit enter. 30 channel, choose how many channels, 30 channels or 12 channels. We have this light program for 30 channels so we can access everything, the LEDs and the central spot. Hit enter again. And then it'll ask you to enter your address and use your up and down arrow buttons to set your address. We've set ours to 179. Hit enter when you're finished. Hit menu to back out of that. Set your EMX address. Now hit your menu button again. Set auto, set run auto. That means it'll run through its automatic programs. Hit enter. There are eight programs. As you can see here, program one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And we'll show those programs with the lights off in just a minute. Hit your menu button again. We're back to set run auto. Set run sound, that means you're gonna run in sound active mode. And it's just gonna pick up on sound and do its thing. Set pan reverse. Again, depending on if you're hanging this upside down or standing it up the way we have it here, you can reverse your pan. And you can also reverse your tilt. System reset sets everything to factory defaults. You're back to DMX address. Very simple layout here. It gets more complicated when you actually do DMX on a lighting board or a computer-based uh, lighting software. But it gives you a lot of options, especially in the larger channel setting where you can control the four segments of the LEDs around the main fixture as well as the main fixture itself in the gobo. So let's look at some demos right now of the various colors and lights. Okay, taking you through the features of the light. Right now we have the central beam, the 60 watt beam on, that's coming through our main lens. And again, it is a tight beam, it's about an uh, eight degree beam, and it gets wider, of course, the further you throw it out. But it gives a nice beam that cuts through the air, especially if you've got a little fog or smoke. Let's take a look at some of the colors. We have our red, green, yellow, blue, pink, purple, and we'll set it on the scroll here. You can just see some of the colors as it scrolls back and forth. All right. And then we do have one gobo wheel with several different gobos. We'll set that slowly to rotate so you can take a look at some of the gobos. And there they are. Alrighty, now let's pick the gobo, uh, there we go, it also has gobo rotation at various speeds and directions, strobing from slow to fast.
And now let's take a look at the LED ring around the central lamp. We're going to turn up our lamp and let's turn up our reds. Now as you can see, we've gone from a fine point of light with the gobo to a wash. Now let's put our central light on a spot just so we can see the difference between the LED lights and the spot. There we go. So we have all different colors. We have your typical red, green, blue. You can color mix and make them do different things. You can assign segments of the lights, break it up into four. Right now I'm just going to run through some macros that are pre-built into the light so you can just see what it can do. First, let's do a uh, color fade on the LEDs. And again, this is variable rate. You can set this to fade fast, to fade slow. Then we have our color jump on the LEDs. Now we're just gonna turn the light around so you can get a look at those LEDs. It's a little bright. Okay, we're gonna kind of point this off axis so we don't blind ourselves. And let's go through some of the macros that are built in. As we saw on the wall, color fade. Color jump. And again, these are variable speeds. You can control pretty much everything on this light. Now let me show you some of the individual segments of the light. So let's see, let's turn on red. There's one segment, red. Let's make our next segment blue. That's on section two. There's a blue section. And let's make our next section green. And there's three segments. And we can go on, but I think you get the idea. Four segments of LEDs around the main light. Each bulb, again, is a tri-LED, so they do have red, green, and blue in each bulb. High quality optics, and they cast a nice light. Now, going into some of the macros for the overall light, the pre-built programs, you can access these programs from the light itself, from the menu, and it'll just do its thing. You can also have these activated in sound active mode. Let's just shine this up a little bit, you can kind of see. The one problem with filming this light in this room is that it really does throw far, and you really can't appreciate it unless you see it casting from far away. And we are going to do that in just a minute. Here's one of the other macros using the LED lights. Here's another one with the spot. Okay. Alright guys, I want you to check this out. I have this pointing outside right now, just on the central spot beam. And we got a little rain outside, which is good, because it's actually going to help us to see the beam. And we're just going to follow that beam across. Now as we zip around, I just want to let you know, I'm shining this on my neighbor's house across the street. I hope I'm not waking anybody up. Uh, his house is about 200 feet away, and there you are. If you can see my neighbor's house right across the street. As I said, it's about 200 feet from where we're standing to his house. And as you can see, at 200 feet we got a nice sized spot, but it's not incredibly wide like most lights which would cover the entire house if they could reach that far. So, pretty powerful little spot on this thing. 
And again, let's show you a gobo at this distance. And there we are. So there we have it, folks. The hot grid bean right here from Lumen Lights. For more information and pricing, contact us at www.lumenlights.com. Hope to see you real soon.